Good evening, we're back with another episode of the Lord of the Rings LCG progression series. As always, I'm playing solo, and tonight's quest is Journey in the Dark. The second quest of the Road Darkens box. Still playing the Gandalf deck. See how it does against this quest. For the setup, I've got to put... I don't know why that's there, we're not playing campaign mode. Got to put 10 damage tokens on Doom Doom Doom. One will be removed at the end of each quest phase, and when it gets down to zero, the Balrog will come. And at the end of the quest phase, the Balrog will make an attack, which means two attacks per turn. So you don't want to get that quickly. For the setup, I just need one of these locations. I'll put the others back. I'm going to choose Mines of Moria. And I'll shuffle. And shuffle the encounter deck as well. So let's see how it goes. This hand seems fine. Get out Gandalf's staff in light of the Valinor. And I will give a resource to probably Aragorn for the Master of the Forge next turn. Then I will quest with everyone. It's another Mines of Moria. So it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Four is six progress, but progress has to be placed here before the quest. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Clear one, I'll move to the other. That'll be turn one. Turn two and play Master of the Forge. I forgot that I get a play with the card face up. So that's nice. Play Master of the Forge. I'll go ahead and use it to look for an attachment. No attachments. Flame of Anor is a good one on top of the deck. Gonna use a resource, or put a resource on Gandalf, I think. Maybe on Glorfindel. I'm not sure. Glorfindel would allow me to play Galadrim's Greeting next turn, but I don't know if that does a lot. So let's quest. And it's a Darkened Stairway. Which is 4 threat, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to 4, 6 progress. Uh, at the end of the last quest phase I should have removed one of these, and then I'll remove one this quest phase as well. Clear the Mines of Moria, I'll move to the Darkened Stairway. And we're on to the next turn. I will use Gandalf's ability to play Bilbo from the top. And then I'll go look through the deck for the Wizard's Pipe. And I can play it for one. And then I will use the wizard's pipe to put Steward of Gondor on top of the deck in exchange for Boromir. And I'll play it on Gandalf for two. And get those resources back. I'll automate that for future turns. Now, is there anything else I can do? I don't think so. I could look for an attachment. There's no important ones left, I don't think. Uh, probably just play Bjorn next turn. So let's go... Let's 
Let's see, is there any chance I clear the quest this turn? 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's a chance. Which would bring out a boss. I guess it could attack Master of the Forge if that happens. Okay, it's another Darkened Stair, so... It's 12 to 4 is 8 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Means I discard the top card of the encounter deck. And it is not a location, so it's just discarded. And we move there and take one off the quest. Now, do I want to... I'll use Gandalf's staff to give a resource to Gandalf. Do I want to look for a... Attachment now? I don't think so. Just move on to the next turn. Elrond's Council I can go ahead and play during the resource phase. And then during planning, I would be able to play this if it was useful, it's not. But I'll use Darren's Runes also during the resource phase. Draw two, discard Light of the Valinor. Which gives me the option of playing this card during planning if I want to, but it's not useful, so I'll just use the wizard's pipe to put Bjorn there in exchange for Gladrum's greeting, and I'll play Bjorn for six. I'll use Gandalf's staff to give a resource to Gandalf. Is there anything else I want to do? I don't think so. I haven't got anything boosting my questing power yet. Faramir next turn probably. But I wanted to be prepared for the boss that's coming so let's quest with uh, everyone but Frodo. And it's a when revealed he makes an attack against the first player. I'll have that go against the master of the forge. Well, let me see. Do I have six? Yeah, I do. So Master of the Forge will take that attack. It's dead, so it kills it. And we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to 2 is 8 progress. Alright, through phase 1. Phase 2 is Drums in the Deep, add change, Chamber of Mazar Bowl. And when I move there, which I'm going to do now, I search the encounter deck and discard pile for an enemy, and one of them must be Orc Chieftain. So I still have to take away a token there. I'll move there, and I'll go get the Orc, Orc Chieftain. Here he is. And at the beginning of the encounter phase, he's going to engage. Don't have to engage the other right now. Allies can't defend against him. I need three enemy kills to advance from this phase. Frodo will take the attack. Shadow cards are dead, and Frodo will cancel the damage by raising threat by two and exhausting the one ring. So, uh, do I need to use Bjorn? Let's see, no I don't. I'll use Flame of Anor. Ready Gandalf, discard Boromir, so he's at seven. And seven, eight, nine, ten will take care of that chieftain. So, on we go. Now, I think I want to play Faramir here, so I'll use the Wizard Pipe. Well, actually, there's a Faramir on top of the deck. I don't need to use a Wizard Pipe. I'll just play it from there. I can save the Wizard Pipe for something, I guess. Uh, I'll use Gandalf's Staff to give a resource to Glorfindel, so I can play Gladrum's Creeding. 
decrease my threat. And then I'll go ahead and quest and exhaust Faramir. I'll leave the M active in case an enemy comes. That is a when revealed, either remove one damage from Doom, 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 which I will do. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 10 progress. There should be one resource token on there because I defeated an enemy last turn. Now I will bring in this orc optionally. Chamber is cleared. And he can attack, let's see, I need seven damage. I don't have that. So I probably should engage the other one optionally. Only need four damage there. Glorfindel can take the attack for no damage. And then it's four from Frodo and Glorfindel. And that will be number two. At the end of the questing phase I owed another token off of there. So it's down to four. Oh, I wanted to play Darren's Ruins at the end of uh, refresh phase, so I'll do that. And then I have to discard one, and that will be Light of the Valinor. And then I draw one more for the normal resource phase draw. Now, do I want to play this off the top of the deck, or would I rather play Glorfindel or Boromir? Boromir is pretty good right now with my strong threat reduction. Sword that was broken is also really good for the next phase. For now, I can give a resource to Gandalf with Gandalf's staff, Wizard's Pipe to put Boromir on top, and then play it. So, let's see, who do I want to quest with? It's probably it, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. To two, three, four, five. Eh, that might not be enough. Should probably quest with Frodo as well. And it is a remove what character you control from the quest and discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that character's printed cost is less than the discarded card's cost, discard that character. Alright, I'll risk Bilbo. So his cost is 2. So if I get a threat 3 card, then Bilbo dies. It is a threat 1 card. So no problem. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to 2 is 5 progress. So just one more kill on an enemy and I'll be through. I do take one more token off. We're getting close to the Balrog. So I'll engage him. He can attack Boromir. That's what Boromir's for. Defending player raises threat by 1 each enemy engaged so it's four to three shields is one damage and Boromir already up for taking that damage and now we have plenty of damage for this guy and that's the third resource token so we're on to phase three and we add the great bridge to the staging area each player re reveals one encounter card and removes one damage token from Doom, Doom, Doom. So, card is Mines of Moria and one damage token off. And unfortunately, we didn't clear this until the combat phase, so I can't move there this turn. I need to make 15 progress, but you can't make more than 5 per turn, per round. And you have to clear the Great Bridge. 
So, getting close to the Balrog now. I will move Glorfindel to the top of the deck in exchange for Gandalf's staff, which isn't useful, and then I'll play it for one, two, three, four, five, and I'll also play Ranger Spikes for two. And I'll add a resource to Glorfindel and play Galadrim's Greeting for three. And I'll go ahead and quest Wanna quest with anyone else. Let's see right now it's seven. I probably need twelve, fourteen or so. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, that should do it. All right, so it's just a two, three, four, nine, to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, five progress. One, two, three, four, five. Now I can move to the bridge. Oh, whoops! I forgot about Mines of Moria. It's one, two, three, four. And then five. Well, I should have uh, committed Gandalf as well. But now I, I can't wreck on it since I have future knowledge now. I'll move to the Great Bridge. That'll delay me by one turn, which means another turn of Balrog. Next turn I get the Balrog. But I might not want to clear the bridge before I get the Balrog since it's inevitable. Because it removes his indestructibleness. Let's see, if I sacrificed Gandalf for 14 damage, he'd be at 11 health. That's 20 damage I still need. 3, 6, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I do have 20. Interesting. Alright, well let's move on to the next turn. Um, okay, there's another Bjorn. But if I lose Gandalf, I lose the ability to use it. I want to use the wizard's pipe to get sword that was broken out here. So I exchange it for Bjorn. I'll play it on Aragorn for one, two, three. And I'll give a resource to Glorfindel so I can play Arwen. Now I want Frodo to be able to tank an attack from the Balrog. He's coming at the end of the quest phase. I don't think I want to clear this location this turn. I don't know. What's the strategy here? Just run past the Balrog or try to kill it? There's no reason I need to do any damage to it. Except for fun. I could run past, sacrifice Glorfindel, and just try to tank the attacks. But it does make two attacks per turn. because it's considered engaged with the first player and it makes an attack for at the end of the quest phase. What do I have? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I just quest for like 4 there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That would be seven. That would clear the location if I didn't get any threats. So probably just do that. Doom two. Shuffle the encounter deck discard pile into the encounter deck and discard cards from the top of the counter deck until X enemies. Okay, so I need to 
shuffle this in and then try and get one enemy there's one and he gets ranger spiked but he does remove one damage from doom 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 right now and that brings the Balrog in. And that's fine. And I will have at the end of the quest phase, so wait, now it's 5, 6 to 3, 4, so I take 2 threat. I'll play Elrond's console to make it 4, 5 to 6, 7 is 2 threat. And then I decrease threat by three, though. So that's fine. Now the Balrog can attack Frodo at the end of the quest phase for Doom, Doom, Doom. And Frodo can cancel that and raise threat by two. Then in the combat phase, I'll I don't have any uh, in movement to make or engagement because he's considered engaged and he doesn't leave. So he can attack, I think, Bilbo. Yeah, he'll attack Bilbo. And the shadow cards are dead, so rip Bilbo. And then I can attack back. For one, two, three, four, five, six, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Twenty three damage minus nine is fourteen. All right. On to the next turn. Bjorn gets shuffled into the deck. Don't have enough to play another Bjorn. Uh, let's see, how much more damage do I need on him? 11? So I could sacrifice Aragorn or Gandalf. I think I need Gandalf less at this point. Due to my questing power, I can just kind of push through this now. Do I need Gandalf to do anything before he departs? I can use his staff to give a resource to Glorfindel, probably. Or maybe I should use it to draw a card. I think I'll play Master of the Forge, and then I'm going to use it to look for an attachment. Just see if I can find something more useful to do with Gandalf. Elfstone is great. Shuffle. Uh, I'll use Gandalf's staff to give a resource to Aragorn so I can play Elfstone. Oh, but this is immune to player card effects. Does that mean you can't put an attachment on it? I'm going to have to check on that. Okay, so you can play attachments on cards that are immune to player card effects. It, the attachment just can't have an effect on the location. So in this case, I think I can attach this. It won't add one questing point because it's immune. And after it leaves play, I can still put an ally into play from my hand. I mean, this isn't going to matter, but I am curious if I'm doing this wrong or not. But I think because Elfstone doesn't directly target the location or have an effect on it in any way, except for adding one quest point, I think it can uh, do this but someone can correct me if I'm wrong. So I'll do that. And then... Well, I might as well use Wizard's Pipe to uh, play the Galadrim's Creating for three. Lower threat by six. 
Alrighty, now I'll just quest. I'll leave a couple of defenders, but that's about it. And what do I get? He makes an attack against the first player. That'll go against Boromir for four, so one damage. Boromir readies up. And what do I got? One, two, seven, eight, nine, two, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I might as well have Gandalf quest because he's going to die anyway. But anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen without Gandalf to one, two, seven, eight, nine is nine progress. Okay. Uh, anyway, I don't. So I don't actually need Gandalf's progress, so I don't need to correct that or retcon that. But anyway, once this is cleared, discard a hero to deal X damage to the Balrog. So I'm discarding Gandalf for 14 damage on the Balrog. Max is out of 25. Then the Balrog loses all keywords for the remainder of the game. What that means, I looked it up, is that he loses indestructible. And that's all he loses. So he's now at 25 damage, and he's no longer indestructible, and so he is dead. And this, lo and this location is cleared, and that means I can play Bjorn from hand. So we're rolling along now. I think I will optionally engage this dude. Just get him out of staging. I don't need to do this, but I might as well, right? He can attack Boromir. This defending player discards a non-objective attachment he controls. Two of his threats, 35 or higher. I'll discard Light of the Valinor. And Boromir takes the damage and readies up. And then I have three, six, seven. All right, and I'm on to the next turn. So two turns and I should be through the quest. Let's see. Eh, I'll just use him to quest. Just quest with almost everybody. I'll give a shield to Boromir at this point since he's maxed out on damage. Give Arwen shield to Boromir. Alright. So it's one threat, assign one damage. No problem. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, fifteen progress. Max is out of five. I might as well bring this guy in. Well, I don't know. Why do it? You can just take the archery damage for two and move on to the next turn. Oh, he, I don't get to see the top card anymore now that like Gandalf's gone. Alrighty. I don't have anything I can play. So, just questing. can just pretty much send everybody at this point. I only need five. It's one, two, three against, so, like, this should be good. Send Frodo as well. And it's when revealed, either remove one damage from Doom, Doom, Doom. I'll choose that option. Nothing to do there. One, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, seventeen progress. 
So I, I think you can choose an option even if it's not capable of happening. But if I did have to reveal another encounter card, it would have been more threat, uh, possible discard of like Chlorfindel, I guess. Nope. So this is what I would have ended up with, and instead of 15 progress, I would have been at what was it? That was at 22 to 5. It would have been 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 to 22. So if, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, yeah. So it still would have been 15 progress. No problem. And that's uh, the end of the quest. So it was a nice kill on the Balrog. Got a good setup. Went pretty smoothly. This is our first time playing Boromir. In my card review, I didn't think he was good. He performed well in this situation, though. I liked him. So perhaps I was wrong in my card review. So I did like this card in this situation. So thanks for watching.